You know, have you ever tried to get good at art and, you know, go to the internet and, you know, type in art tutorials and then just try to find one that somehow makes sense so that you can draw your waifu or your comics or trees or whatever you're into? <laughs> Well, I have, and that's exactly what I did. And here we have art tutorials, and we're gonna, number one, TikTok art tips and tutorials to help you in drawing. One. So there's multiples of these. So you know what? I wanna get good at drawing. I'm sure you wanna get good at drawing. So let's just see what pearls of wisdom <laughs> we can find in here. I'm expecting these to be terrible. But watch them actually be good. Watch these actually like genuinely help me. All right, let's 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 dive in here. I used to draw like this where I would start uh, one yes. eyeball eyes. and then finish it and then start the next eye. Always and eyes. It always looks so ugly and like so stupid and look like you'll see. I still can't do it. It's so ugly. <laughs> and there's like a me. <laughs> hey, uh, here's a tutorial. By the way, I still can't do it. Okay, I feel, I feel you, TikTok girl. A really simple, easy trick, which you saw in the video. You have to start both eyes, like, at the same time, and, like, go step by step with each eye. And this is the only way I can get it to look the same. This... Ah! Uh, I mean... Sure. I mean, that's not really, like, that's kind of helpful, I guess. That's just the concept of rhythm, right? All right. Uh, 8 out of 10. Wow, that seems kind of harsh for an 8 out of 10. Well, 8 out of 10, that's fine. Because, I mean, there's nothing else besides that. Just do the thing at the same time. Don't really tell you what the thing is, but... That's one video. I'm sure she has more. This way you, like, have all the movements together or something? I don't even know, man. I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but it just works, okay? <laughs> the other way doesn't work. Just you works. You can do it the other way. All right, crush girl. Not what bad. The... How to draw... How to draw... First, African slash nice. black people hair hit me. Wait, did he just say the hairline can be as high or as low as you want it to be? Hold on. First, get your hairline going. It can be as high or as low as you want it to be. That's not true. Okay, I'm sorry. Hold on. The hairline can be as high and low as you want it to be. I mean, kind of technically, if you have a receding hairline. Um, but it's supposed to be at least as a base. It's supposed to be equal distance from your hairline to your brows to your nose to your chin. And then you can like fudge it, but it's like definitely start with a third. And, he, and and see, he's even doing that. So the distance here between the the hairline to his eyebrow to his nose to his chin is roughly the same. Actually, we're just gonna let's see. All right, here's one, and we're gonna duplicate this line so I don't actually change the length. There's one. All right, not quite as long, but pretty close. And then pretty close again here. He has enough to have some stylistic differences, but he's pretty much following the rule. So, okay, I'm gonna put false on that anywhere you want line. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start making a little bit like zigzaggy squiggles all over these little um, spheres that I made on our head. Drawing black hair is probably the most- Zigzaggy squiggles? Shading, you know what I'm saying? Break mine into little squares because like these are like sections of the hair. Her hair got farted. And I'm shading and shit. That's some more zig- Okay, shading and shit. All right, hold on a minute. Jaggedy jaggedy shapes inside for the shading. Jiggity jaggedy boom, shapes inside for the shading. Okay, now that looks awesome, clearly. But I think the thing that makes it awesome is he didn't say what makes it great. This all follows the form, these little tufts of hair, these squares, which he knew to do that instead of just have them connect to nothing. But they, they go back in perspective, like this isn't an angle here. This is coming this way, this is going that way. And he used a really, really, really small pen. He didn't use the same thickness as like this ear. How thick this ear is to, with like, and how dark it is to the little squiggly wigglies, right? So like, it looks good, but the fact that he followed the form and made it small and used like spherical shading for shading and shit or whatever he said, it works. But again, it doesn't really tell you what he did. He just kind of assumes that you'll know how to do that. Beautiful bento knots. For him, on the hairline, I'm gonna draw a big, big- Dude, his faces actually look lit. This guy's awesome. This guy's really cool. I love it. Big circle, like a big one, a big bento knot. Then add more zigzaggity, jaggedy lines following that shape. Find more ziggity zaggities. Shade it in. Why he look like me a little bit? 
Erase. Add more zigzaggities. And you're done. Okay. So he's saying add more zigzaggities, but that's not what makes it look good. What makes it look good Why he look like is putting in form. Erase. Oh. Add it's this. It's the fact that he drew an arbitrary, like, he decided that this is where the head goes back in space and then shaded it darker. It's not the ziggity zaggities at all. Same here, like with it for his like his sideburns right here. Like it looks good because of the form that he knows how to put in and because of his line weight. But no, he'll say ziggity zaggity. Add more zigzaggities. And you're done. Yo, she is so beautiful. All right, AJ, it looks good. It looks awesome. But if somebody doesn't know art, they're not gonna know that just it's because you know form. But good, uh, I guess. Well, I, I'll give this uh, seven out of ten because it looks really good. So I guess I'm shallow. So I'll get seven out of ten. How I draw hair. Oh, thank God for hair. I suck at hair. I'm absolutely god awful at hair. I can never. All right, teach me. Uh, at Finn P. I guess it's just Finn. I don't know how you would say that name. Artists will draw straight hair in a rigid manner. In a rigid manner. <laughs> it's okay. She's probably just stressed reading from her script. That's fine. I I too draw straight uh, hair in a in a rigid manner. With curly hair, they'll either draw too many curls or do this strange sort of wavy look that really doesn't look attractive on most drawings. Do I agree with that? I don't know. I don't think that looks half bad, but. I'll give it to you. That's all right. Sure. But I'm gonna help you change that. Oh, thank you. You should remember that hair has a few important things, like structure, volume, bounce, and gravity. I usually start by emphasizing the roots of the hair, and then letting gravity take over later. Okay, so she introduced like four different properties of hair. Is she gonna go over each one, like each property of hair in this tutorial? I usually start by emphasizing the roots of the hair and then letting gravity take over later. All right. I mean, that makes sense. So that you start with where it connects to your head and then you just kind of assume that gravity will work and you put it down, but not in a straight manner. Start with the roots and then use gravity. Okay, good. So far, so good. I start with full roots before having a fluffy sort of land later. Fluffy sort of land, a fluffy sort of land later. So don't put it straight. Just start at the roots and then curl it out. With curly hair, it's important to emphasize the shape. Like a tree, you're not going to draw all the details, so don't bother. And that's how I draw hair. Hopefully this helped you. Wait a minute. No, it's the same thing as the other guy. Okay, I will say the, you're, it's like a tree, so you're not gonna draw the whole thing. That makes sense. You know, if you just focus on the shape, you know, focus on the contour, just get the edges there, then it'll, then it'll look good. Um, but I think the thing that gets me though is that she listed off all these properties of hair that I would have been interested to know. Whatever, what, what four were they? What were the four things of hair that she said? That hair has a few important things, like structure, volume, bounce, and gravity. Structure, volume, bounce, and gravity. And she only mentioned gravity, which was the one we already knew to begin with. So it's not really contributing much to the conversation. And then she goes and... So you start from the roots, which is what normal people do. Like you start from the head and then just go. Only instead of doing in a in a straight manner, you're supposed to like floof it out at the end. We're having a fluffy sort of land later. A fluffy sort of land. So that's what it is. So start with the roots, draw it out fluffy. Don't worry about the details, and you'll go from this. Hopefully this helps. To this. No, you won't. At all. The reason why that looks good. Is it because of the form? Again, because of this darker shading in here that tells us that this is closer to the viewer and this is farther away. And she kind of has a couple wispies to suggest it and then some more wispies over here. So, I guess, like... No way! Absolutely not! You're out of your mind. Th that tutorial is gonna get me to draw that hair. Absolutely not. No way. No way. All right, we're gonna try. We're gonna try. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I just, I just watched the tutorial. 
I know what I'm doing. I'm 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 equipped now. Here we go. So if we start at the roots, which I can't really see, so I get it's all slicked back. So here, here's the roots, right? Because they're all it's like bangs, but really long bangs. They go all the way back. Where are the roots? I don't know roots. Where are the roots supposed to go? Mine are where are mine? Mine are here, I think. Yeah, I have this I have like this line that goes back. So I guess is it, isn't that called a part though? The middle part? Okay. And then we start with the roots and put it down in a flowy manner. Okay. There we go. Like, thi this is as helpful as it is. There's nothing about color, nothing about lighting, nothing about form. I just kind of have to hope that if I go back to her other example. And that's how I draw hair. Hopefully this helps you. Okay, so Gwen... There's a couple little lines in here that show the direction. And that's more stylized. This one's more rendered. So I can't see very well. These lines, I guess this is the rendered version of the lines here, right? Right? And then these are like the highlight sexy ones that are like supposed to look really cool and look, you know, like, ooh, hair. Uh -huh. Okay, so so what if I if I if I just draw these in, do I do this? L'Oreal. Uh this looks like it's going back this way. The fact that this area right here is darker, does that mean that this is coming in like this? So this needs to be dark. Um, that's as far as I got. Instructions unclear. Now before you go and on me and say, well, Josh. That's just because you suck at art. I'm like, well, here's what I say to that. <laughs> that's true. I do suck at art, but you know what? You know what, internet? <laughs> Tutorials are made for people who suck at art. So they're supposed to help me. And if your tutorials don't help me, then how am I gonna get good? All right, so let's think a little bit and try to make tutorials for total idiots like me. Okay, uh, I'm kind of done though. There's like 15 minutes left of this video, so I'll have to come back to this another time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hopefully that helps you. Let's keep finding good art tutorials online and learning art through the internet. See you next time.